Hello everyone, my name is Shamika Tompkins and I am an independent consultant of Paparazzi's Accessories. My consultant ID is 91773. On today, I'm going to show you how I package my jewelry, some of the items that I carry around in my bling bag, as well as some of the things that I prepare for basket parties. And I also use these items when I go out to vending events because they're very convenient and they allow the jewelry to show easily and very gorgeously, okay? So this is what we're going to be making today. This is one of the pieces and it's already pre-packaged. And so this is what I'm going to make today, okay? So let me show you all the materials that you need. One of these clear resellable bags. This is a six by nine bag that you can order from Amazon. And you see here, it has a little tape here where you pull this off and then you just close the flap over and that's how you seal it. Of course, you need a piece of your paparazzi jewelry. Cardstock. And I use the 110 pound cardstock because I have found that the lighter cardstock, like the 65 pound cardstock, does not hold under the weight of the jewelry. It typically folds over. So this is also what I use, the 110 pound cardstock. A pair of scissors, your business card, tape, and an ink pen. Okay? Alright, so without further delay, let's go ahead and get the jewelry um, tutorial started. I'm so used to saying jewelry show. <laughs> so basically what I do, this is basically a full sheet. Only thing I do is I turn it sideways and I estimate guesstimate and cut it in, the ha in half. I don't get out a ruler or anything like that. I just estimate guesstimate. And it usually goes pretty well. So then what I do is I take and I notch it at the top. And what I do is I don't just put a single slit. I take a little piece and I'm going to make an actual removal of a portion. So I do two slits there. Two slits here. And then I'm going to have the same on this side. On an angle. One. Two. Then when I flip the other side, I'm going to do the same thing. One. Two. And again, I just eyeball it. So what I do is I take these little pieces and I just pop them out. That's trash. And I do this because our pieces, the chains, they're not thin and flimsy. They have some width to them. So I need to accommodate for that. So let me put my trash in the trash can. Y'all, I got to keep everything nice and neat. All right. And so I'm going to tilt the camera down on an angle so you can see. All right. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my jewelry and I'm going to start putting it on the side first. So I put it on that side, then I put it on that side. And I kind of make sure it's kind of centered so it looks pretty. Then I take it and I put a piece through the front and a piece through the other slip. Just like that. Okay? Then I look at it. I just kind of eyeball it. And I try to make sure I get it centered well. Because I want it to present nicely. Okay? So once I'm satisfied with it, and I think it looks pretty nice inside of the car stop, then I'm going to secure it down. Alright, because the whole point of this is so that somebody can pick it up at a glance and see your piece. So, I'm satisfied with that. I think that looks nice. Okay? So this is where the tape comes in. I take a little piece of tape. And this right here, I just put a piece of tape going across. Well, up and down. Just to secure it in that spot. So it's not all flipping and flopping 
etc. So I put another piece of tape right there. All right. So then I take my ink pen and I write my price. Now I'm in Virginia. So in Virginia, I go ahead and write the sales price plus tax. I put $5.25. Yes, it should be one or two more cents. But because I do a lot of vending, I don't collect that one or two more cents. I don't have time to be out playing with pennies. So I just go ahead and make it something that's reasonable. And I go ahead and I do $5.25. And that works for me and that works for my customers. Because typically somebody can um, dig up a quarter. But a lot of times people don't have pennies. And when I'm vending... It's difficult sometimes when I'm trying to calculate, okay, two pieces is 527 or 526, you got to add that up. Versus if you got two pieces, okay, that's 1050, you gave me a 20, I know I got to give you back. Blah, 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 what is that, 950? So it makes it really easy for me. So I just take that one or two cent loss. So that's that. So now I'm going to take the piece and I am going to, now you see the way I have this? One piece, if you can tell, the flap, I'm going to have that in front, and the shorter piece, I'm going to have in the back, okay? So, I'm going to do that, because I'm satisfied with the way my piece looks in the, on the car stop. I'm going to slide it right down. Okay? So now, I've slid it down, but I'm not satisfied with that. I'm still not finished. My business card. This is my signature. So I always make sure I put one of my business cards and I drop it right on in the back. I just drop it in there, no particular way. And then I'm going to take this little piece of strip of tape or this little strip here off to reveal the adhesive. Okay? So now that's the sticky part. And I'm going to fold it down. And what I do is I sit it down and I fold it down as close as it will go so that the jewelry is nice and snug and secure. So if I'm out vending, oops, if I'm out vending this piece, if somebody selects this piece, they want to purchase it, only thing I have to do is drop it in the bag because it's already wrapped, it's already secure. I don't have to do the tissue paper and all of that stuff. I can just drop it in a bag and they can take their piece and go. After they pay, of course. <laughs> so now I've showed you that. And I want to show you why I like to do these. Okay. I'm expecting. So I can't tow a whole lot of heavy stuff. So my pegboards and things, when I go out now, um, I'm not able to take as many pegboards like my big ones that I used to do. So what I do is I package up several of these. And then I put them on my clipping spin. And so when I go out, my clipping spin, I'm going to show y'all my clipping spin. It's empty now, but I have several of these packaged up and people can sit and they spin it just like this. And it's full of these so they can look at them and see which items they want to purchase and then they just unclip it. Okay, and I totaled them up. Drop their prepackaged items in the bag. Another thing I do is I don't always carry around a traditional paparazzi bling bag. Sometimes I use a different bag. So I have several of these already packaged. So I will put them in this bag. And by me already having them packaged, when people call me or if somebody says, Hey Mika, you know, I want to do a um, basket party. It's really easy for me to go in here and it just pick out some pieces and say, okay, you want to do a basket party today? It's not a whole lot of prep for me. I've already done the hard work. I've already put the pieces together and I like to send these out in my basket parties because people don't have to guess. They can clearly see the price tag. They can clearly see the jewelry. And my calling card, my business card, is right in there. Another thing I do at vending events. So this is a bag that I use um, for some of my basket parties, bling bags. 
it just depends on where I'm going. Um, sometimes I go places and it's not necessarily appropriate to walk around with a big bag saying that I'm advertising and promoting that I'm selling. Sometimes I have to be a little bit discreet coming into the building until I get to the person that I need to see. Okay? So sometimes I use a little bag like that. And plus it's cute. And so also at events what I do is I have my little basket, my little Dollar Tree basket. And I take some of these prepackaged items. And I put them right in there just like so. And I'll have one for my individual pieces. And I'll package them up and I'll sit this basket right on the table. People will come thumb through and shop. And then I'll have another basket for my sets. So you can see I have some that I have the necklace, the earrings, along with the bracelet is on the inside as well. And the price is marked different. Now what I don't do is I don't put them together. I put them separate, that way nobody is confused. Okay, and when I go to ring somebody up, I say, um, are you aware that this one is, it has the two pieces in here, so it's a different price. And they'll say, yeah, or they'll say, no, I didn't know, I didn't pay attention to that. So just try to make sure that your customers don't feel bamboozled or deceived. So make sure that your signage is appropriate and that you have your things separate. So that you have your $5 pieces and your $10 sets in a separate container, okay? So I have several sets like that that I put together as well. And I'm not gonna go through all of them, <clears throat> but I think you all get the gist of it. If you have any comments, any questions, please go ahead and leave them, and you can see how this was done. Um, those clear, these clear baggies, again, I ordered these off of Amazon. The car stock, I have received this, I purchased this from a craft store, um, probably Michael's, uh, when they had a coupon. I try not to buy anything full price, I try to get the best deal I can. My little baggies, I had to buy these for a price. But they were on Amazon, and I think I got about 200 in the pack. They were 200 and they may have been like $8.99. But I'm going to tell you, when I go out, and I'm out and about, and people want to shop real quick, these are so convenient, and people love to get these because they can clearly see what is what they're purchasing versus when you just have your bag, your jewelry, and a little plastic wrap, it doesn't always display the same. Now, a piece like this, I probably would leave in a little plastic wrap because it doesn't have the chain to it that I can put on this cardstock, whereas this piece has the chain, okay? So I just wanted to showcase my jewelry and showcase what I do as a paparazzi independent consultant to package my jewelry and to take it out not just for vending events, not just for basket parties, but just um, in my bling bag. It makes it very easy. Okay, so again, my name is Shamika Tompkins. I'm an independent consultant of paparazzi accessories. My ID is 91773. Y'all forgive me for being so worried, but I just like to make sure I get everything in there. Um, if you're interested in becoming a consultant, please comment interested. You can always visit my website, www.paparazziaccessories.com slash Miss Mika, and that's M-S-M-I-C-A. Thank you, or just give me a call, 804-852-0131. Thank you. Y'all take care.